Mantra made Kai Kai feel as if Dashrath is betraying her. And Dashrath only acted as if you are very dear to me. But now when the real time to come to show, uh, to show one's uh, affection, to show one's uh, real color, it says that uh, you can talk big things, but put your mouth, what is it saying? Put your mouth where your money is or put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> so, you know, do the, uh, walk your talk. So, uh, so, he showed so much affection to me, but at the time, when the real thing is to be done, he's enthroned Kaushalya's son. So, this is a betrayal. Oh, she doesn't bring in the bride price, so that is quite unlikely. But just that she felt that it's my, I am the dearest, so my son should become the next. And at least, uh, Mantara made her feel as if you are being betrayed. There is a conspiracy of food and you have to do whatever it takes. And when she went and demanded from Dashrath that, you know, give me these two moons. And Dashrath was in a very happy mood. In fact, one of the Ramayana commentators says that when you are happy, never make any promises to anyone. <laughs> So he says that two things. When you are angry, don't, don't speak anything. Don't speak in anger. If you speak in anger, you will give the best speech that you will regret. <laughs> <laughs> and when you are happy, don't promise anything. So Dashrath is very happy and he says, whatever you want. In fact, he says, thrice in the name of Ram, whatever you ask, I will provide. And then when she says, Send Ram to the forest for 14 years and enthrone Bharat as the king. Uh, Dashrath feels totally betrayed. And that betrayal is extremely painful. It is, he says, I am bound by my words that I have to do what you tell me to do. But because you have betrayed me in such a terrible way, he says, I reject you. I reject you as my wife. And it is Ram who remembers that and is described later that when uh, Ram defeats Ravan and at that time, uh, Dashrath also appears along with the gods in the sky. And then Ram offers his respect to Dashrath and Ram asks, no, please, just accept Kai Kai back. Please forgive her for what she did. Whatever she did was ordained by destiny. And the Shratha's also his anger has gone down and he accepts it. So in this case, when both of them feel as if they have been betrayed, Kai Kai feels that that which I was entitled to, that has been taken away from me. And the Shrat, so how could somebody who is in my own family demand something like this from me? So we could say in this situation that Objectively speaking, we could say one side is right and one side is wrong. Who is right, broadly speaking? Dashrath is right. And Kai Kai was wrong. Now still we will see that there is no, there is no punishment for Kai Kai. 